Well, kids, if it was possible to make a more boring video, I think I've made it. This is it. This little gun's going to put you to sleep. So that's just something I did. We had a uh, uh, 22, uh, 2022 ProMaster in for transmission service, and I just took some video of pointing out the differences because I have only put my hands on one once. They're too new. They go to the dealers or they go wherever they go. They're going to start coming in here soon, and, and uh, thus I wanted to make a little tour uh, it, 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 denoting the differences between the 22 and up ProMaster, which has a slightly revised engine, well, substantially revised engine, and a totally different transmission. Uh, but uh, uh, pointing out a lot of carryover parts as well. A lot of stuff hasn't changed, which is good, because the longer they make it without changing it, the longer, the better, the cheaper the parts will be, the better the support will be, the more the knowledge base will be, and the better the durability and cost of ownership will be, and there will be that. All right, let's dive into it. Look, I'm not promising that this is going to be very entertaining. In fact, it's going to be completely boring for, for if you don't have one or you're just not interested. Or maybe you're interested. I don't know. I, can't, I, I don't know what how you people think. I'm just making the videos. Party on. Love you. How do you turn this thing off? Is it here? Is it here? It's here. There. Locked. All right, scan. So... What hasn't changed is what's quite interesting to me. This door card is the same. That's the same. The parking brake, the, so the seat base would be different because the parking brake is electric, but this part is the same, and the dash, all that's the same. The cluster, obviously, is digital. The screen section is different, as are the vents over there, uh, as is the HVAC controls. But the basic structure that I'm seeing here is all the same. All right, I'm going to go look at the engine, but look, the, the, the hood latch is the same. The mechanicals of the... The door and the body are all identical. The shiny new hood. This piece is the same. The hood is the same. The headlight buckets are the same. This one is Canadian market because it's got daytime running lights. That piece is the same. This is different. Yep, all this is the same, all this problem's the same. Although, it should be noted, turn on my light, it should be noted that um, the problem you'll have with water intrusion, even though you can see water still drips down, you can see the evidence of it here. You won't have that same problem where it rots those two bolts in the top of the intake manifold. There they are, all nice and exposed where they're never gonna rot. The bottle is the same, the master cylinder is the same. The, the way it takes its air in is quite different. It would be well over here, but this is the same and all the hardware for it's the same. The washer squirters are same. The bottle, the, the squirt bottle is the same. Cal piece, that's the same. All kinds of stuff. Now this will be new down here because I've never stared at the nine speed closely before. This is your nine speeds oh fun. The body mount, the way the transmission is side mounted is quite different. The water drainage tube is all the same. Minor differences here. There's no va vacuum booster for the brakes. Yeah, the way the transmission is mounted is quite different, but it looks like they're adapting it to the same basic hardware. As I look down here, frame stubs are the same. Those two transmission cooler lines are the same. The radiator assembly it looks like the exact same radiator, but with some different routing. Where, where the hose is the same, that's the same. This is fun, I'm, 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 I'm into this. This is van porn. It's like specialty van, van porn. So a lot, certainly a lot of similarities. I'm looking at the oil, I don't know if you can see this. But if you're looking at that, see that, the oil filter cap is the same, so the cooler is the same. The engine mount is similar but different. The way the engine mounts to the body side is different. Uh, well, no, that might be directly swappable. The mount is different. Yeah, valve cover is similar but different. Yeah, fairly different. But I'm not seeing anything that scares me. This AC, these AC lines are the same. This assembly, which is the small EVAP pump, is the same as is the way it mounts to the intake air temperature sensor. Basically all the same. These would be 
um, that little un, unfilled thing would be where an engine cover would go in an application that could take an engine cover. That's that's a little different how this this um, braided hose, which is just uh, some, some EVAP function. Yeah, the map, that's the map sensor. It's in a different location. So some differences, but not not really a lot. That's going to be the same. Here, it's, the bottle is so much the same, it's starting to crack right there, where they all do. That's a direct swap. The hood latch, same. The, the T30s are the same. Yeah. All right, exciting. Let's go underneath. All right, here we are under the nine speed. The cat is different. The exhaust is different. The engine block is the same or similar enough to where it doesn't matter, but the oil pan is very different. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yeah, the cat is a different, well, it may be the same piece with a different cover on it. It looks different to me though. And the output is different, it's definitely different. Let me zoom out a little bit so we can get the whole effect here. There we are, now we're wide. So behind that black honeycomb thing is, I believe, the solenoid pack. Cooler lines are in a different place. What I'm looking at right there with the Allen head in it, that guy, this guy, that guy, is the drain plug for the transmission. I gotta go on the backside and look. The axles look to be the same to me. Suspension and brakes are identical, I think. That caliper looks, no, that's the same. The cradle's the same. The rear mount, the rear biscuit mount is the same. Lower control arms is the same. The sway bar looks ever so slightly different, but the basics of it are the same. The tie rod looks the same. The splash shield is the same. The alternator is the same. The AC compressor is unknown. Looks the same, but it looks different at the same time, but it's the mounts look similar. Belt looks the same. All that hosing over there is the same. Fan module looks, yeah, the fan module is the same. Oh, they've replaced this hose instead of being rubber. Now it's aluminum. That's nice. That's good news. I also see new stuff. Okay, what I'm looking at straight there is the EGR cooler, which bolts to the side of the front cylinder head. A lot of the hose routing is the same. I'm under the bottle here. I see a lot of different bracketry and sort of minor stuff. Yeah, the EGR cooler is appears to be cooled with engine coolant, so that's gonna be new. And there's a bracket that holds it on, but the head, no, the head is different because it has variable valve lift as well as variable valve timing. The starter is different. It's basically the same and in the same spot, but the connector for the starter is different and it's multi-use. You see the red single use or a uh, dual stage lock, but the way the starter cable, that's all the same. So, uh, you know, a lot of similarities, some differences, a lot of space under here. As I look back towards the rear of the van, that all looks the same. And why would it be much different? Yeah, this exhaust pipe is quite markedly different. I'm learning a little bit about this transmission, and it's pretty good stuff. I think uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be better than the 62 TE in the big picture. It has been in production since 2015, even with Chrysler. So we're going to find out. Let's move positions. Crap later. All right. Device not connected. All right. So it read some modules, but not all. Let's see. This is not a problem with the van. This is a problem with my computer. I fight with this super expensive computer to work, and it doesn't always work. Interesting. Okay, so we're in. Let's look for fault codes. That'd be the first thing we look at. No fault codes. No surprise, because no check engine light. Let's look at, uh, while I'm here, this I'm going to move quite quickly. Okay, so there's some different stuff here. These are actuations. That's interesting. I can actuate the alternator. I can't do that on the other ones. This It'll relearn the brake pedal. That's new. 
and EGR stuff. Now this engine has EGR, whereas the old, the 14 through 21 does not have EGR, which is kind of an asset. However, uh, system test, pretty much the same. Oh, it'll do a force purge. It'll do a learn. Okay, interesting. View stop start data, that's interesting. Oh, set engine RPM, I suppose that's a governor or maybe it's a injector kill, all right. Similar, let's look at the data stream. Okay, a lot of differences here. Cylinder imbalance detection, that's new. A lot of stuff there. MF, adaptive numerator learn TLC throttle, throttle control. Mass airflow throttle control. Does this thing have a MAF sensor? It has a MAF vacuum. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see what it looks like here. This is the upstream. Whoops. Upstream. Is it only letting me read the upstream sensor? And I can't graph that? These are... Most of these are differences in my computer. Tank pressure, voltage sense, spark base, AC high side pressure, cam sinks. A lot of this is the same. And why would it be different? The engine's basically the same. It's interesting. It puts the wheel speed sensors in the EC in the PCM. I find that very interesting. Yeah, here's the two of one. All right, so they've alphabetized it differently. Again, just a difference in my computer. Intake cam crank differences. Goods, all the same. And there's, okay, so, and oil pressure. What does oil pressure look like in a, same, because it's basically the same engine. What does, do we have a transmission control module now? Yes, we do. So that's new because it's a nine speed transmission. In the older vans, there is no transmission control module. It's all done in the engine computer, which doesn't really make any difference. One of the things, like I say, if I'm gonna be changing the fluid I need to be able to know the temperature yeah I've seen this before this is the individual clutch testing which is good because with nine speeds you're gonna okay it hasn't okay all right the shifter physically is the same Pres so present gear will be the same there's more solenoids all right a little bit more control oh yeah, I actually randomly got on where I wanted to be. Turbine speed, valve body, solenoid learn status. Okay. Okay, perfect. So we know what our ambient is. Just sitting idling about 127. That's right where it should be from what I've learned. Let's see what else. What special functions do we have in transmission? Same as the other one. Interesting. So we'll do a quick learn. So instrument panel... I don't even know what some of these are. Uh, can I see this as a list? Yes. Okay, that helps. So powertrain, transmission, body, vehicle system interface module. That's new for me. Radio frequency, oh, all right. Oh, so they split the TPMS out. All right, that's cool. The adaptive cruise control model module, which I know nothing about. ABS, airbags, park assist, haptic lane feedback, interesting. A whole separate module to, does it shake your ass or shake the wheel? <laughs> Oh, yeah, it hasn't fired. All right. Electric power steering. All that is is an electric pump that makes the pressure instead of a mechanical pump. But it, electric is better. It's more efficient and it'll probably be more durable. Not that there's any durability problems with a mechanical pump. I've never had to replace one. HVAC, telematics, left blind spot, right blind spot. That's interesting. Left and right have their own. Central vision, comfort seat wheel module. Does that mean power seats? This doesn't have power seats, does it? No. no. So it has a trailer module as well. That's interesting. That means it would probably control or be, have the ability to be modified to control a trailer brake. Tow haul mode? Or? No, uh, uh, it would automatically, when you start braking, it would start braking. Okay, system top. I'm sorry, that's what I wanted. So ABS, all right, all that stuff. All right, so not so bad from my perspective of having to learn new shit. Okay, so we have one stored, meaning non-active code in the body control module 
fleet telematic module. Oh, that's possibly possibly the Qualc the um, Samsara that I unplugged, mm. but it's stored, so that may be very old. I'm going to leave it alone. What data stream? What data can? Yeah, okay. This is all the same. Things that you can do remotely by controlling the computer and telling it. By the way, for those of you playing along at home, that's called bidirectional communication in a scanner. If you want to control all this stuff, like roll the windows down, tell the computer to roll the window down, which allows you to diagnose, is it the window motor or is it the switch or what is it? That's called bidirectional communication. Lane departure warning stuff. Okay, cruise can, all right. Interesting. Oh, it knows its interior lights as well. Fascinating. Okay. All right. Well, clean bill of health here. Let's go underneath. 